Ooh, what's going on guys? I'm Jake the Offensive Gamer, and this is Thief Part 13. I think I said it was Part 11 last time. I'm not, I'm not sure I didn't actually check the recording, but I feel like I did. And, uh, yeah, I should be shot for that because I'm stupid. Alright, um, I said, uh, I remember last time I said that there was the, uh, uh, easy kind of quick way to get to that part, but I'm also going to take the other way because there's uh, some loot and a few other things I can do. Yeah, that was pointless. <laughs> there was no reason for me doing that. Yeah, that was a hand. That was a fucking hand. inside here. Doesn't look like anything. I'll be fine. I'll be just fine. Nothing scary is gonna happen to me. The shower turned on. That's odd. I wonder why that happened. Actually, I'm gonna open this because there's something in here. Some gold. There are gold teapot. Give me that shit. So, uh, so far, if I remember correctly, uh, I've collected like 270 wor uh, gold worth, or 270 gold worth of stuff. That's a person. Hi. She's shy, I suppose. Somebody up there? Excuse me. Guess I don't want to talk either. I'll play basketball with you, just don't kill me. Mannequins! Again! Isn't that fun? Don't you guys love mannequins? In horror based areas? Because I do. They're always just so delightful. Uh, inventory full. Let's go say hi to the mannequins, because that's smart. Hi, mannequins! You're not gonna, you know move out of nowhere and then freak me out, are you? Because that wouldn't be very nice. Oh, that's not cool. God damn it. You, I, we agreed that you wouldn't do that shit. Dicks. Alright, mess hall disturbance. Dr. Stedman. Huntfield, uh, Huntfield heard about the little dust up you had in the dining hall the other night. He's gloating about and strutting about, saying he'll soon have authority over patient number 18 due to your professional negligence. I wouldn't be surprised if he put number 79 up to it in the first place. Keep an eye on him. He's far too excited about getting his hands on a new test subject. I wonder why. Could it be because... Whoa, what was that? That was weird. I don't remember that. Oh yeah, no, that that happened. I remember that now. Okay. Give me that. It's mine now. Anything in here? I suppose not. Creepy music. Ambience. And we're up in the room again. Okay, lessons for mental health. One, repetition soothes the troubled mind. Two, a lack of excitement promotes healing. Three, noise is the enemy of well-being. And four, obedi oh, bleh, obedience is the first sign of recovery. Certainly. That doesn't sound like bullshit. What's in here? Stuff and things. I don't think I can get in there. Oh, wait. No, I can. 
I just don't know how to get up. Oh, there we go. Cool. I didn't do this last time. She can't stay here. It's too dangerous. Creepy. Is that it? I'm good. I'll stay in here. Just, just in the corner. They can't see me now. They can't see me now. Oh god, they can see me. Alright, this is stupid. Stop being an asshole. Uh, heat and cold treatment. Melancholia is the symptom of, uh, most reported by today's caregivers, for which there is a remedy both simple and effective. It requires the application of extreme heat to those areas of the body which may, to the touch, have the feel of uh, clamminess or wetness. Uh, as for the drier areas of the skin, where one may find a vigorousness unbecoming of mortal flesh, the repeated submersion of the patient into a vessel containing water no colder than an eighth of a degree above freezing shall draw from the body part uh, the very obst obstinacy that so afflicts its owner. I'll take that. Nope, 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 nope. We're going to fuck that vill on the nope train. It's dark in here. I don't like it. Nothing. Nope. Actually, just to check. No, 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 no. To peeking in through the keyhole. Man, that's not good for your health. She's a woman. I can take her. I don't care if that's sexist. Biologically, realistically, I could probably take her. I didn't take into account the fact that she's a ghost. I probably could not take a ghost. Regardless of their gender. Oh, fucking Jesus. You know, the really pathetic thing about this is that I know some of these things are coming and I still get scared by them. It's kind of sad. And embarrassing. What's that noise? Who made that noise? It wasn't me. Certainly not. Why would I make that noise? No, 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 no. Pick the lock. Thank you. Now that we got that sorted. Please don't kill me. Ooh, note. Huntfield's illness. Thurlow. Dr. Huntfield seems to have come down with a disfiguring ailment of the back. He has trouble standing upright and performing his operations. He has, ma he, bleh, he has asked me to examine him, but I'm afraid I could find nothing wrong. Of course, he then called me a failure and stomped away, so I neglected to mention the fact uh, or that the back of his head is now entirely bald or that his left leg is beginning to twist as he walks. I may suggest he try his own electrotherapy techniques. I'm sure his patients would be more than happy to apply the treatment on his behalf. That guy sounds like an asshole. I'll take that. Uh, patient number 18. This is Aaron. Uh, patient number 18 is an extraordinary creature. Uh, when not sedated, she screams about thousands of voices and trashes so violently... Uh, thrashes so violently that we had to triple her restraints. The main phase she, uh, phrase she yells is for someone to wake up, but who she is talking to is unclear. I had patient number 22 brought into the treatment room several times um, in order to watch their interactions. He did not touch her, but became violent when removed from her presence. Uh, I can only hope Northcrest will allow me to attempt my new extraction uh, technique soon. I had the device uh, created specially for this task, and it would be a shame to let it uh, rust simply because Elias can't uh, 
handle a little blood. Jesus fucking Christ, I'm already at 10 minutes. What? What? I'll bring you your wine, just don't kill me. Or scare me, for that matter. Wait, I should probably look through here first. Um, hi. If you promise not to kill me? If you promise not to kill me, I'll be really nice to you. I'll suck your dick. I promise just- to Oh, shit! Jesus! Such a sea of change coming tonight. What the fuck? You gotta understand, I didn't open these doors last time, so... Whoa. Did I just get pushed out? I just got pushed out. L literally, a ghost just pushed me out. That actually just happened. You're a dick, ghost. Fuck you. Fine. Wanna be a cunt about it? So you can play that game. You have fat ass. How about that? Bitch. Uh, aggression again. All patients have been exhibiting increased aggression of, uh, of late. We had similar in incidents last year when patient number 18 was in the central seclusion, but those ceased with her rem uh, removal of, uh, to reformation. Still, the behaviors occurring now show disturbing, uh, disturbing similarities. Patient number 82 actually growled at me when I brought her meal this morning. Uh, a child should not be able to make those noises. Uh, all we can do is continue to provide the care that they need. I will not be responsible for sending any more patients to Huntsfield, uh, Huntsfield's, Huntfield's Abattoir. Okay, patient number 79 has been experiencing increased delusions of demons in the corners. Recommend cognitive therapy with Dr. Stedman to calm her. A uh, patient was found to have drilled holes in his, in his walls again, moved to 7M and cautioned. Uh, recommend no forks or knives during mealtimes to avoid reoccurrence. Uh, patient number 49 moved from 3M to 4M. Inconsistency of noise was disturbing patient number 16 and causing him to scream at varied intervals. Uh, patient number 78 continues to insist that her presence is accidental and that she is sane. Recommend lo Jesus. Recommend lobotomization if sh uh, if her delusions continue. How would that help? I don't... Fuck it, it's, it's the 1800s or whenever this is based in. Uh, patient number 45 is evidence that the procedure is a massive success. Uh, Dr. Huntfield continues in the delusion that he should have jurisdiction over the entire asylum. Recommend he pull his head out of his arse uh, and stop suggesting lobotomizations in the office logbook when I'm off duty. <laughs> okay, well that explains that. I was about to say, that's kind of drastic. It's also kind of sad that I thought that that was just a normal thing. That they did back then. Actually, it just seems like that would be something they would do. If somebody's being a little uppity, you drill into their fucking skull. I could have told. Okay, it pains me to confirm that uh, your inquiry, but in fact, uh, patient number eighteen will undergo procedure in room three F, as you fear. I thought we'd close the door on uh, close the door on that room of horrors years ago. The subject is classified for selective experimentation on instruction of Baron Northcrest himself. This is the last time I sign a patient over to the treatment center. They need doctors, not butchers. Huntfield will be taking over this subject in all aspects. I pity the girl, Thurlow. Uh, may she find peace somewhere in her madness. Told them you were in trouble, but what did you do? Show me. Can I open this door now? That's bullshit. There's stuff in there. Why can't- that's fucking ridiculous. There's no reason why I shouldn't- There's gotta be a way to get in. I guess not. Whoa. I'm hearing creepy music. Alright, maybe I can't get up there.
Ha ha! These ghosts really don't want me being he in here, and to them I say, go fuck yourself. How about that? Hmm? What's with the blue on this? That's weird. I guess I can't go out that way. Alright then. Gonna be a dick about it. Let me down. Thank you. That's creepy. No poppy for me. I'll take it. Thank you very much. Uh, History 3. And yet Moira Asylum is not without its share of troubles, battered by the constant to and fro of coastal winds. It has a melancholy and beleaguered atmosphere not common to the more grounded buildings of the city. Nor does it want for droughts, uh, droughts, droughts and other embellishments. Her staff are bo both courteous and cheerful, despite their conditions for which they are to be commended. Uh, most startling yet, however, is the fertile soil of the Asylum's island, within uh, which have been sown the many seeds of wildflowers no longer common to the more civilized surrounds uh, to which we have become accustomed. Let me through, goddammit. So yeah, I'm thinking this is going to be a three-parter. Uh, since there's a lot of reading and collecting and stuff like that, it provides a lot of extra time. Okay, passing beyond this point constitutes a strict confidentiality agreement. Experimental techniques remain the property of their respective owners. Anyone found copying the use of these techniques is liable for treason under the Medical Act of NRY 839. Uh, okay. I really need to read up on Thief and understand the lore a little bit better. That might be, like, a normal thing. I have no idea. Ah! These creepy noises. Wait. There's a thing down there. I'm gonna get it, goddammit. If it's the last thing I do, I will get it. Or maybe not if it's scary. But if it's not scary, then I'll get it. That wouldn't be good. I would suffer damage at the very least, if not die. That doesn't work. Give me that shit. Thank you. Okay, this part is interesting, to say the least. All dead. All dead but the shadows. They were taken by the shadows. The shadows have been hungry since she went away. That guy's weird. It changed. Then there's this guy, who's asleep in here. He's uh, undergoing that melancholia treatment, if I'm not mistaken. They're hurting me. There's too much pain. And then there's this room, and there's a guy just right there. Freaky motherfucker. Then there's this room where there's seemingly nobody here. Jump scare in a few seconds, if I'm not mistaken. Come on now. Come on. Alright, fine. And he will start smashing on the door in three, two, one. No? There we are. Hi. Nice teeth. These doors need power. There's probably a generator down here somewhere. Probably. Maybe not. Who knows? There's a... There's a... Something that... Like, okay, hold up a sec. I'm trying to remember. Is there any way to avoid it? Because if I unlock that, I know that there's going to be... There's a trap. 
I know that. No, oh, I'll take it. Nothing? <coughs> ah, yep, see, there you go. God damn it. I don't know where I would have gone to avoid that, though. Thank you very much, sir. I'll take it. Can't take that, though. Elevator lock. Pete, I have a favor to ask of you. The elevator to Reformation is currently open access. Anyone can just wal uh, waltz in and pay a visit to maximum security. I'd like you to install a locking mechanism. This isn't just for the safety of those in Reformation, but for the safety for, uh, of our patients here in the asylum as well. What happens if, uh, if one of Huntfield's uh, subjects gets loose? The patients on the upper levels would be defenseless. Think about it. I'll get, I'll get you whatever clearance you need. Okay, now it's time to read that. Escape note. Avery, leave quietly. Ignore the oil and, and glass uh, there for the protection, uh, for your protection. Light a torch and meet me at the docks. I don't know what they are, but I don't know what they are, but if one of them sees you, see, uh, set the bastard alight and run. I'll wait for you. That is in reference to a certain creature that we will come across in the next video. Uh, sensory deprivation. Doors are to be are to remain closed at all times while room is occupied. Removal from the cares of the world is soothing for the soul. I can't open that yet. For whatever dumb fucking reason, I can't open that yet. I don't care. I'm fine. Okay, then. Where's the generator? Generator is right here. And uh, nothing else. Calm down. Now the doors open. Of course they do. That's what they're there for. It's for crazy to be crazy people to come out of them. And there we are. Gonna turn off this light. Uh, calibrate machine carefully before commencing operation. Piercing the veil that masks the window to the soul can reveal the path to wellness. Do I already have some? Okay, I do. Is there anything else? It does not look as though there is. Let us continue. Don't show him you're scared. Don't let him see you lose control. I wanted to stop him. I wanted to save myself, but they won't let me wake up. I need the primal out of the girl now, but do not let her die, no matter the cost. You understand the fear, don't you, Garrett? The fear of being trapped, of being used. Quickly! She's corrupting it! See? Oh. I ruin everything. The primal is dangerous. It must be controlled. No! It's no good. I'll take her back down to the prison level. <laughs> 